my name is Fable, and I am a teaching artist with the Diatribe. And I am Rachel, I am also a teaching artist with the Diatribe. And not pictured is Foster, or Autopilot, another teaching artist of the Diatribe. And we are here at Northview Crossroads Middle School, where we just completed our six-week program diving into poetry techniques, uh, spoken word performance dynamics, workshopping poems. When you make a poem that you like, it's just really, it's got, you, you get this really accomplishing feeling. I feel like I can express my voice, give my opinion towards certain things, and it gives me ideas when talking to other people. I enjoy sharing it because it's, it's uh, creative. I enjoy being creative. I, I uh, like to share what's on my mind. You could really connect with the person, so I like really enjoy this. It's nice to be able to get things off of your chest and just kind of like spill your guts onto paper. You just feel really good after you read your poem because people can learn what you're going through or learn your perspective on something. Well, I'm an education specialist in Northview Schools, kind of like a district counselor. This was my first experience watching Diatribe with our students and I just have to tell you that to see the, uh, the work one on the academic side of poetry writing is just great, but even more than that is the expression of emotion that our students had a chance to share. Time for patience. If she could give her all our her herbal, go into a crib. Get a bit of small fortune, but you can't name half of the players on any team. <laughs> When you, when you do write and like, you tell your story and share your truth, you give other people the courage to do the same. I don't like um, is when I was small, this painting used to scare me. But some of the things that he does like is he likes the graffiti, right? Free. So don't hand them out to, on a silver platter to kids walking down the street. <laughs> oh. And today is the grand finale. We are about to go into the cafeteria and we're gonna hear nearly 50 students share their stories, their experiences, all through poetry. We have some topics that are lighthearted. We have some topics that are very, very, very serious. But the beautiful thing is, is that their entire class is gonna be watching them read and cheering them on along the way. I hope you're excited because this is gonna be an incredible experience. Every day, with the same churning in my stomach, the same doubt that I'll be accepted, the same fear that I'll stand in front of all my peers and be sure to get judged. You won't listen anyways. Because when you're black and you're white, there's no in-between, no group to the gray area. This is it. I'm sorry for being so straightforward, but at this point, I don't care. Why am I the odd one out? Why can't I be like them? Why am I me? I do care about school. I do care. But deep down, I really don't care. <laughs> Black, white, the two boxes on my school registration glaring up, but those beautiful green eyes just aren't the way that they should be. I pretend to be enjoying my day. I plaster a fake smile on my cheeks to splash over your back, hiding you from your mistakes. Say, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry for loving you. And just know that that's true. Empty. Well, at least half of it was. A kid that nobody's really sure about because the kicks that he's rocking doesn't really match the money in his pocket quite right. I love a lot of things. I love food, summer, and sports. I love my family and friends. I'm cruel. I'm fine. I'm simply divine. That's how I'm doing. Yet, when you try to undo what you have done, there's nothing you can do. Not only just my mom, mom, and maybe, just maybe, what you just did, could have just saved that kid. People judge us on what we look like, not our personality. Personally, it's not fair if you say, I love your hair when I'm with my mom, but when I'm with my dad, it's fair. Should it be a protest? Walking into school, you're going to feel like confident or shy. Sure, she might be a couple years older, but that just means she's bolder. I've been shoved in the back with the shadows. It never changes. I'm with them. It's best for you. But do I really want to commit? It seems like these shoes don't fit. And I have to admit, it's time to put down the basketball. Last one, last one, last one. On the count of three, I want everybody to say that. Ready? One, two, three. Dive. Dive. 